But yeah, let's do a little, just a quick little recap. Welcome in everybody to TFGO League. I appreciate your patience just on TFG plays in general. I know that, just wanna turn this music down just a little bit. I know that um, content hasn't exactly been flying off the wall here, but uh, we've been busy, but we're back home. We're good to go. And as far as TFGO goes here, we're back on track, which feels really good. Uh, after about a two, three week kind of slow hiatus pause-ish type deal. But there were some games that we missed. So we're three and one. We're in good position. Trey Lance, up and down season, coming off uh, a really bad game. Uh, a lot of you guys caught that live. Um, lost to the Jets. Played possibly my worst game um, of Madden 22, certainly. Uh, three or four picks with Trey Lance. And... Uh, Got to clean some stuff up, but he's been solid. It was, um, let's see, four interceptions against the Jets. Yep. And then this was a fair sim that I won. And then we started 2-0. Oh. This was an epic comeback, 27-26. So, yeah, we're off to an interesting start. Rushing, it's been a lot of Lance, Raheem Mostert. We got Noah Kane, who's got hidden development. And then receiving wise, a lot of George Kittle, Debo, Ayuk, the three kind of three headed monster there. Defensively, let's see, we got Nick Bosa playing well, a couple sacks splitting around, Tavares Moore and Tyke Smith. So this is probably an update that is much needed here. Um, I actually released Jimmy Ward to clear cap space because for number one, Tavares Moore was great last year. We gave him a contract extension. We used our player review, our league player review on him. So he got a little boost and we drafted Ty Key Smith in the second round. So we have some really good free safety types already. Um, Ty Key Smith had two interceptions in the first game. Tavares Moore is playing great. So these guys are like budding stars at safety for us. But the other reason we did that is we made a big trade of um, on the old line. So we actually acquired superstar right guard, Joel Batonio. I had to give up my second round pick this year and Alex Mack for Joel Batonio. We're gonna have to extend him, but he's a monster. And the last thing I will say here before we start our game is we have a rule about how many superstars you can have on your roster, right? So you can either have three superstars on each side of the ball, or you can have four on one side and one on the other. And what I actually ended up doing here was I took, it's a bit of a hot take, but I took Fred Warner's superstar X Factor off. Now he goes to an archive. He can get it back later, as long as he's under 30 years old under 31 years old, and that's the plan. He's gonna get it back, but right now we've got Batonio, we've got Trent Williams. I don't want these guys to get hit with regression, so I'm keeping both those guys. We also have Mike McGlinchey in that archive. He'll get it back in the future. And then I also am happy with Brandon Ayuk, who earned it last year. He's got that evasive ability. He's a couple overall points away from getting another ability, so I'm happy with him. And then of course we have George Kittle. So. There's an update on where we're at. And now let's take on the Atlanta Falcons. We also have banned offensive custom playbooks. Um, so I'm using Seattle's playbook. That's on the Chargers losing to the Texans. What a weird outcome, man. I mean, I haven't rewatched that whole game yet, but from what I saw, it actually just looked like the Texans straight up like played good, played well. Believe it or not, like they were running the ball. Rex Burkhead, every time I looked, was breaking off a run, which, you know, the Chargers run defense is definitely a problem. We know that. The Chiefs curse is real. Yeah, dude, that was hilarious. That video of the guy. Oh! Do I like Davis Mills? Look, 
Whatever happens with Davis Mills, I'm gonna take credit for being ahead of the game on Davis Mills in draft season. I remember I put him in my top 10 list at like six or seven and people were like, what? Ahead of Kellen Mond and all this stuff. I was like, man, he's got traits. He's got a good arm. He's athletic, smart dude, went to Stanford. And he played in an offense at Stanford that straight up like underutilized him. They ran like a 1960s style offense at Stanford. So, you know, he's got a long ass way to go. Um, but he's, you know, he's, he can make some throws. It's accurate, somewhat mobile. Definitely looks better than anticipated, that's for sure. Who should be your favorite NFL team? You know what, if you don't wanna go like bandwagon, I would say go with the Indianapolis Colts. I have thoroughly enjoyed watching them recently. I think they're just so well coached. They have a bunch of really high character dudes. You get to watch the in-season hard knocks if you haven't yet. Um, oh gosh. They are a very likable team. Anyone but the Colts? <laughs> okay. I wouldn't go Lions. You'll be miserable if you, if you invest yourself in the Lions. Oh, shoot. What is Baker's trade value? Dude, that is a tough ass question. Um, definitely not a first. You're not getting a first for him. I bet you get a second for him though. Come on, D. I know this guy is not one and three bad. I don't know if he's just had a hard schedule or force losses or what, but uh, definitely got to focus up here. I'm not trying to bounce back poor from last week. Oh my gosh. Most dirt. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll take that. <laughs> A little bit lucky, but we will take it. Should the Steelers move on from Mike Tomlin? No, 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 no. Let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Tomlin's a stud. Just doesn't have much of a quarterback right now. Oh, come on. Throw the fucking ball, Lance. What are we doing? I hate that. Once I get these hot routes set, or these audibles set, I was doing a little practice this afternoon. I was, I was offended by my performance last week. I was like, we gotta, we gotta be better than that. Hold that block, Tim Patrick. Trey, Lance, who, who, who? Boom! Let's go. Are my uh, sound bites working? I feel like they're not. Can you even hear the music? I feel like you can't even hear the music. Damn. Do I have an explanation of why Russ has been bad? I, I don't have a great explanation, but you know, I do feel like um, a little bit of his, his physical ability to get out of the pocket and extend plays has been 
reduced and he's having to play more from the pocket. He's just not quite as, that's just not quite his comfort zone there. Yeah, I don't know why the sound, why this is so quiet. Like the new uh, settings on this, they're just kind of pissing me off. Jeez. What is this run defense? Where did Burrow and Herbert rank in the top QBs? They're in the top 10. I know that. Probably in the five, five to nine range. Definitely getting close to time to revisit my, uh, my quarterback rankings. Good D. Yeah, Robert Quinn, sack leader. Have a year, young man. Although he's older than me. Warner! He doesn't need X Factor, baby. He don't need it. Star Fred Warner can still make plays. That's to another one for Tavares Moore, baby. Shanahan said Garoppolo's questionable, huh? If, uh, if Trey Lance... If Trey Lance, like, turned on in the playoffs, how nuts would that be if the... Oh, look at the cutback! I forgot to call the timeout. Still getting used to these uh, audible checks. Where is Jet Pass Fix on? That's what we want. Is Staley the right coach for the Chargers? Yeah. yeah, there's no reason to think he isn't. You're right, Nixter, that is a classic TFG move right there. Oh, Pape! Oh no, not a Pape! A Pape, a Baba da Boopy, a Maya Lega Herta! A Baba Pape! That's right. Ian Book season, baby. Will I watch the college football playoff? I absolutely will. Um, thing is, I'm gonna be uh, at a wedding <laughs> on Friday, of course. Oh, Kane, come on. Daniel, if you go back on TFG plays, I will, uh, I did a, I did a recap before the game started. I recapped where we're at with the, with the league and how everyone's doing. So you can, uh, oh, okay, Kane, plan for the channel this week. Power rankings tomorrow, podcast on Thursday and picks will be on Patreon on Thursday. That's the content this week. Got him to jump. How about that? I was actually going to call another time out there. No, he's going to fumble it. Come on, Ayuk. The hell is that?
I'll take holding after I fumbled it on the five yard line. Yikes. Odds Baker isn't the Browns QB next year. I would say 40%. Get that shit out of here. Get that shit out of here. Will Pete Carroll get fired? I think they'll ask him to resign. Retirement, yeah. Pick. Darius. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Oh well, we'll go with it. Looks like man coverage, so Kittle might be the guy here. Oh! Georgie! is thrown Fred Warner says fuck you for taking X Factor off me I'm gonna get two pick sixes yikes See that, Alan Diggs? I cannot answer. We are too close to my playoff predictions video. I gotta keep those uh, keep those opinions tight. Steelers Super Bowl. Uh, are the Steelers even gonna make the playoffs at this point? Probably not, right? I like Caldwell or Dable for the Jags. I bet you're feeling good. Feeling good about the Bills after that big win. I was looking back on it. I realized I had a Patriots to win the AFC East bet that would have paid like 400 bucks. That's uh, looking like a lost cause now. Oh, God. Oh, if Pitts was... Good job, Pool. Good job. Yeah, I have heard of Doug Peterson. You know, I think a lot of that is he's available to interview right now, whereas a lot of the assistants are not. So I don't know if I'm putting too much stock in that, but yeah, that's uh, that's hilarious. We read that one like a book. Oh, he got it. Tavares Moore gets another one. Oh, let's go. What a catch. Watch this. Watch this right here. Mostert up the seam. If this is cover two. Oh God, where did that guy come from? Where did AJ Terrell come from? 
What the hell? Damn it. Wow. Stuffed me. Alright, just get behind Trent Williams, George Kittle. Jeez. I wish I had a QB power right now. Wow. He stopped me. That's two red zone stops right now. Should the Steelers re-sign Trey Turner? Uh, yeah, they should. All right, good first half. Thank you, Smith. I wasn't quite expecting that, but. Whew, at least it didn't get picked. Cause that comeback was, was open. We'll take the we'll take the field goal. I wish there was music for you guys. Oh! Ty Key Smith. Six interceptions, to, or five interceptions today. Great run. Good day. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? What is he doing? Just not his day, that's right, Jazzer. Man. Can't score. What do we have? Let's see. There we go. QB draw. Oh my gosh. And McGlinchy's hurt. I'm lucky that wasn't picked off. Wow. <laughs> what the hell? It's like three goal line stands for him. At least something's working for him today. Oh, come on, McGlinchey. Brutal. Torn labrum. That's like four weeks. I do have a goal line running back. Obama's a fraud. I got Trey Sermon. He's pretty good for that. Oh, 
Oh man. Jeez, what a throw. Oh my goodness. Tavares Moore. Oh, he's going onside kick again. Whatever. How's marriage? Great question. Married, married life is awesome, man. It's just a good feeling. Like you just feel like you have you have become two people, and you're just happy. Good grief! Three wide open receivers, but the the pressure got in. Punt. Apparently, uh, Robbie Golds can't make this. Gorgeous. Gorgeous punt. Ooh, he got his feet down. Oh, okay. He didn't catch that. Good. Gosh, Tavares Moore has been incredible, dude. Still out here in three tight end. Carson Wentz is overhated. Agreed. Oh, gosh. What was that? He's trying to keep this thing respectable. I'm going to just predict this as a slant. If he goes go ball, we're screwed. We predicted it correctly. <laughs> so Tyke Smith has two picks. Tavares Moore has two picks, and Fred Warner has two picks. Dude, what the hell? He's just saying, screw Matt Ryan. Oh my god, Mostert. What a catch. Did he get his feet down on that? Good D, good D. Look at that stat line. Nine interceptions. What are you doing? Tavares more. I'm just gonna put uh, some backups in here. Jake Fromm, Noah Kane.
Charlie Warner, I guess. So I gave Kittle Vanguard, so he actually is like a super blocker right now. I need Kinlaw to win a rep here, come on. There we go. Oh my gosh, Ambry Thomas gets put in. Like, he's not even reading defenses. This is insane. Problem is, I have a lot of formation subsets, so, like, starters are still going to be in on a lot of these. Ooh, Jamison Williams almost stacked him there. I'm not, I'm not even going to kick the field goal. From ten interceptions. I don't think I've ever seen that. He was twelve to fifteen touchdowns to picks before this game. Oh wow, we knocked that out. Of course Bosa gets hurt. Of course he gets hurt. Please be okay, Bosa. Oh my God. I mean, Look, I'm not going to complain about my rookie safety getting three picks. I mean, he's ran that play like four times. Like, I know it's coming. I know you're running. I know you're running halfback angle and running pits straight up the seam. Like, it's, it's pretty predictable at this point. Stop getting hurt, guys. I'm just trying to get out of here. So I will be playing again at 8.30. Oh, that's during the game. Yeah, that's fine. I probably won't stream it. Ooh, Worley, or uh, Mosley almost had another one. Sheesh. No way. Me too, Southern Fish. Can't wait. I'm actually, this weekend, I'm watching the dogs at my parents' place, so it's going to be a big uh, scouting, scouting weekend. I mean, if you're throwing this up the seam, dude, it's not going to work. Oh boy. Just watched it, Eldon? You liked it? Nice, nice. What was your favorite pick? Ah, he got it. He got it. Oh. Uh, Kinlaw gets hurt on a two-point conversion. Costly blowout win. We lose um, Mike McGlinchey and maybe Kinlaw. Not that Kinlaw's really done anything for me, but... Yeah, Matt Ryan. I don't think he'd be taking pictures with the uh, opponent after an 11-interception game. 
He threw like an eighth of Aaron Rodgers' career interception total in that game with Matt Ryan. It's pretty crazy to say. <laughs> Puts things in perspective a little bit. I think Rodgers has 93 career interceptions. Hey, you have 447 passing yards though. My uh, defense had more com more receptions than my uh, offense did. Nine receptions. Really just Mostert, six for 169. Tyke Smith making a, a defensive rookie of the year case already. He has five interceptions for a second round pick. I'm working on Noah Kane's power a little bit. How much, how many did he even get? How much XP did he get for that? 2,700, almost a full skill point. So we got Bucks and then Rams coming up. Two new injuries. Jesus. Kinlaw and McGlinchey, that stinks. Kinlaw gets hurt on a useless two-point conversion at the end of the game. So that's going to do it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Enjoy Monday Night Football. We'll see you for the power rankings in the morning. Goodbye.